Cocodri, Louisiana, a small fishing village at the end of the highway. Surrounded by water, surrounded by marsh, it was teeming with redfish. Everywhere you look, there was fish to be caught. Sounds like an angler's paradise. This was my dad and I's first time ever to Louisiana, and it was an incredible trip. For this tournament, we had found some fish sitting in a little pocket, and thankfully they stayed put. There were some nice fish in there. We didn't really know how big they were. We just knew they were big. So come along with us this tournament. Let's see how we do. Here we go. We got a swirl right there on the left. See it? Swirl right here. See it? Yep. Swirl behind behind my bait back there. Yeah, there we got we got fish in here. They're in here. We're just gonna have to get them right in the head with it. Yeah. A lot of swirls going on in here. Come on, Jesus, give us those eight pounders, please. The wind just keeps it in the exact same. You don't have to reel it or anything. You can, you could never have to cast today. If you pop it the right way and let some line out and hold your rod up and let the wind carry it all around. You know what I'm saying? Good fish, good fish. Not, not a bad fish. In the boat, in the boat, nice. Yeah. Well, that's a nice fatty. Yeah. They love that kicker crab. All right. <laughs> Fish. Big fish, baby. Stay on. Thank you, Jesus. That's a big one right there, baby. Please stay on. Good fish. That's him. Oh my goodness. Please stay on, Jesus. Dad, Dad, you ready? That's a, that's him right there, baby. Where you at? Where you at? Coming around this way. That's him right there. That's a seven pounder. He's over. I'm gonna try and bring him this way. Big fish. Thank you, Jesus. Let's get him in the boat. I told you that was the cast. We'll get one shot at this one. You can move that rod if you need to. All right, we're gonna get this one in. That is a fat fish right there. Holy moly, come on, Lord. Oh, he stressed me out. So what we have here, we have a rising tide and we had a strong wind during the tournament. It was blowing 20 to 30 mile an hour. It was a little rough to fish, but what happened was we had that flooded grass. Just like here in South Carolina, the water was pushing up in the grass and the fish were using that flooded grass as structure. So it held those fish in that same area for us, making it a little easier to locate those fish. That's a monster. He might be too big. <sighs> oh, he might be too big. Get him in the boat, quick. Yeah, I think he's too big. He's a monster. Yeah, I think he's really too big. <sighs> Look how fat he is. Ah, oh, he's too big. Can he keep vision? Oh, way too big. Yeah. Look how fat he is. <laughs> I think we're around the right fish. Holy moly, look how fat that red fish is. Oh. Yeah.
This guy's a little small, but all right. All right, got a fish. He might measure. Fish down the tube. Little guy. I think they're sitting. There's like a little deeper channel right there, like a little cut. Yep. That's a keeper. Nineteen. Two and a half. Bam! All right, let's keep fishing. Good fish. He's got me covered in grass. Get the net ready. Cut. Oh, he's still on. Keep him on, Jesus. All right, we're free. Good fish. Another good one. Ah, uh, he'll be close. Uh, I think he's way too big again. This way. Uh, I can't tell. Get him! Oh, I think he's too big. Holy moly, though. He's fat. He's not as heavy. Too big. Alright, because I mean, that's a nice thing. fish right there. See how much it weighs. Look how fat he is, though. Oh my goodness. That's a monster. That's a nine and a half pound. Beautiful fish. Come on, baby. Awesome, Dad. Looks like a good fish. Heck yeah. First Louisiana redfish in a tournament. <laughs> That's, that looks like an upgrade, isn't it? <laughs> oh, nice fish. That's an upgrade. Nice. Oh, that's a nine pounder. Keep your rod up, okay? Don't horse them. Keep them up. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Nice, Dad. Good fish. Nope, you're good. Keep them coming. <laughs> Boom! I think he's gonna make it. Oh yeah, that'll make it. All right, that's a, that's a good fish. Oh, he's he's got hooked. Take care. Yeah, I gotta call the tournament director. How about the lure? Yeah. We can get. Right, that's an upgrade right there. Hopefully this fish is gonna stay alive though. He's got hooked. Right, let's call the tournament director real quick. Yeah, this is giving uh, Team Hey man, um, we got hooked with fish. Um, it, it swallowed it, so am I supposed to pull it out now, or do we pull it out then? Okay, all right, cool. Okay, all right, man, thank you. Let's see it. Boom, <laughs> baby! It's a seven pounder. <laughs> For our tackle this week, just like you probably already guessed, we were throwing the Z-Man Kicker Crab. This is one of our favorite baits. We had it rigged a couple different ways. One, we had it on a bullseye spinner bait from Z-Man with the Ice Strike Texas Eye. That's the Bloody Mary Sunday Kicker Crab. This thing puts out a lot of vibration, one from the crab, but two from the blade. So when you have those windy conditions like we were fishing, this really gets their attention. The other way we had the bait, we had it rigged just on the standard Ice Strike Texas Eye. That's a quarter ounce. That is our favorite way to rig these. That's the Bloody Mary Sunday Crab. I personally prefer to throw seven two, seven foot three 
medium heavy casting rods with a nice strong reel with a six six to one ratio this is that pen fathom bait cast reel and i've got that rigged on a fenwick elite rod we just got these we just started using these in our latest tournament so stay tuned for these rods to see the incredible action they have so that's what we're using for this tournament as far as baits we keep it very simple we use confidence baits that work redfish love crabs so that's what we're using in this tournament to put those big fish in the boat We finished up in the top 25 in this tournament. Unfortunately, that seven pounder was gut hooked and did die on us. So we received a half pound penalty. But that said, guys, regardless of where we ended up, the fish were biting and a time spent with dad is always worth fishing a tournament. So that's all we've got this week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. We'll see you back here next week. This is Captain Stephen Fluke Jr. signing out.